psychologist said, you know, if you're planning to have other children and you want a normal life, maybe you should institutionalize them. The school committee member said, we do not educate a vegetable. She's not going to be able to read. She's not going to be able to uh, do many things. She's not going to be able to live independently. We had families, parents particularly, who came to talk with social workers about the fact that their children were being bounced out of the Boston public school system. The school system was saying that the youngster was too retarded, uh, too disturbed. In many cases, the school was too dysfunctional to really do the job. We, we wanted to integrate him very early, but we knew that it was very difficult. It just did not work. Something has to be done about it systemically. They were uh, seeing children who simply weren't going to school for any number of reasons, and Hubie and others resolved there has been evidence of young people excluded from school illegally. We got from the school department uh, what we knew we would get, and that was denial. I think maybe what we ought to do is form a task force on children out of school. We decided to have kind of a quasi-public hearing to which we invited school officials to testify to the task force. Uh, and some of it was like unbelievable. We're beginning to get radicalized. We're beginning to get angry. So they'll have the same opportunities of every child who's educated in this country. Across the front page of the Boston Globe was this, this message, 10,000 young people are excluded from the Boston public schools. The community was shocked. What you're doing is taking a social condition that is horrendous, uh, that most people don't know about, and you're lifting that condition up to becoming a social problem and we use it to go up to public officials and say, look, something has to be done. The Speaker of the House, David Barkley, called us and said, will you please send me 500 copies of the way we go to school? It was an opportunity to give kids a chance. That's what we were all really about. He got the 500 copies, he sent it to the legislature, he sent it to groups in the community that he was affiliated with and aligned with. And then he called us in to say, okay, I want to write some new legislation. Would you work with us? Then the task force on children out of school, which later became Mass Advocates for Children, members of our board and team and, and groups we were aligned with, sat down and worked with him and his staff to create Chapter 766. Is the greatest piece of educational legislation in the history of the Commonwealth. Basically helped bring thousands of young people out of classes for the retarded that were you know, out of the mainstream of the school, the young, youngsters who were not being, who were handicapped, who were not being you know, served in schools. It got people to think about, and educators to think about, how do you educate all children together? Teachers learned that there were different learning styles and that by modifying curriculum and adapting approaches for special education children, it also was good for um, typically developing children as well. And it was a sense of empowerment and entitlement that Chapter 766 said all, every child must have an education. So whenever we sat down, we knew whoever we were talking to, they had to educate John, they had to accept him, they had to work with him. Education, as you know, is so much the key to anybody's success. And for these children who had been denied an education, who would have been denied education, it was a lifesaver and a godsend for them and their families. Chapter 766 has helped us tremendously. And I'm going to use my son again for an example. So here's a kid that was given 
every opportunity in education. He now has his own business. He gets support in his business. He has a driver's license. Those laws have put us as equal members of the student body and has allowed us to have voices and to be seen and to be heard. Because of Chapter 766, my brother Sadie has the same opportunities that I do. When I grow up, I want to be an activist on the Disney Channel. I am now onto my next challenge, which is to become a vocational rehabilitation counselor. My, my favorite subject in school is math. I like to read. My teachers, they're pretty good. I mean, they helped me. I got all A's, I did really well socially, I was deported with interpreters, I had BOT, and that just made everything in my life easier. We are Chapter 766. <laughs> I am Chapter 766. I am 766. We are Chapter 766. I am Chapter 766. We are Chapter 766. I am Chapter 766. We are Chapter 766. We are Chapter 766. I am 766.